We'd love for you to say a few words, DJ. Uh, if we could have the mics on stage. Well, uh, thank you. We are so excited to be here. Uh, it's sort of a dream come true for me. The excitement and uh, the enthusiasm and the kindness and the energy level of this city are just incredible. It, they parallel triple X, so I feel like I'm a, on a shooting day at triple X because of all the energy that we have here. Um, you know, to be able to direct, come to work every day and get to direct these two fantastic people and movie stars and collaborators and partners was a dream come true. And now to bring this movie here to India and to have this great premiere just shows you this movie is, it's, cinema's changing. Cinema is now global. Uh, it is not just American action movies. This is a global movie. This is a global movie of people that are coming from all over the globe. And we're so blessed to be here today. I just want to say thank you for having us. And I know when you see the movie, you will enjoy it very, very much. Thank you. Thank you, DJ. Vin, how's your experience been in this incredible city so far? <laughs> being, being in this city, uh, like DJ just said, is a dream come true. I, I have wanted to work with Deepika for many years. Uh, we first met years ago and we saw that the chemistry was something special. When we started filming Triple X, she said, I have one request. I would love to do a huge Hollywood premiere in my home country of India. So the fact that we're here means that we delivered on that promise. So, so much of what our movie is about is global harmony. And the fact that you see love between the two characters, played by both Deepika and myself, is evidence of this multicultural global harmony that we talk about in our movie. So I want to thank all of you, India, for making this such an incredible experience. And by the way, both of you gave incredible speeches. <laughs> I'm going to have to take both of you back to Hollywood with me to always introduce me before I come on stage. So thank you so much. Um, you want me to keep going? Because I could tell you something. All right. The first movie I ever went to, I don't know if you want to hear this. The first movie that my father took me to see was a movie called The Thief of Baghdad, starring Sabu. And from that moment as a five-year-old, I always imagined that movie stars could look different than the ones that were in Hollywood, like myself. So uh, there is a long-standing connection with Hollywood and India and my stardom now, or my success now. I just was waiting for the opportunity to come to India. And it was this queen here, this angel, this, such a blessing that she's in my life. It's such a blessing to have someone with such a beautiful soul be a part of the magic that's made on screen and be part of the blessing that is my life. So if you would just let me kiss her one second. <laughs>
Hey, guys, take it easy. Come on, get a room. Thank you so much, Vin. Thank you. Deepika, I think the term drop dead gorgeous has to apply to you. I mean, this is the first time I've been on stage with you and you're looking absolutely stunning. And you've been stunning in all the promos we've seen so far. But I have to ask you, how was it working with Vin Diesel? Um, first of all, I've, I can't tell you how happy I am to be back home. Um, but it's been such an incredible journey. I've lost my voice in the process. But I feel like coming back home, the voice is also coming back. Um, Working with Vin, I think like he said, we've, we, we've known each other for many years now and I think working together was in our destiny. Uh, we were to work on another project together and for various reasons that didn't work out, but I think we both knew that it was going to happen very, very soon. Um, so I think thank you to, to the Triple X franchise and to Vin for reviving the franchise and I think um, DJ for having the faith in me to see me as Serena, um, I think which is why we're all here today. And this is very, very special for me because um, I feel so proud as an Indian to be representing our country on a global stage. And also because I feel finally female characters in films like these have finally got its due. You'll see it when you see the movie tomorrow. Um, so yeah, I mean, we can talk about the character and other things moving forward, but um, yeah. Thank you so much, uh, Deepika. I'm going to request all of you to, to take a seat. We've got a, the moment that the press has been waiting for, of course. This is your favorite part. You've heard a lot, you've seen a lot. We're going to throw the house open to question answers. Please raise your hands and not try and shout over each other. We've got mics there. Question number one, sir, please introduce yourselves before you ask the question. Could we have all their mics on? Chick, chick. Chick, 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 one, chick. Chick. Hi, Vin. Uh, welcome to India. Myself, Alok, here. And Deepika, we feel very proud when we go to the stage and work in the film. The question is, how many stars are you taking to India? And what is the reason for the stars? Do you have to take a look at the stars and the stars? Do you have to take a look at the stars? He's saying, how did I manage to get two very talented and superstars? How did I manage to bring them to India? Uh -huh. um, <laughs> they're saying I, it didn't take much. Um, but it's true. I think they feel the love. Uh, DJ and Vin kept saying right from the beginning, the minute I left India and I was filming in Toronto for four months, um, my fans and the press and all of you were so supportive of that journey that I think they felt like they were already in India. Um, every day DJ and Vin would give me updates of like what my fans are saying and what India is saying and how excited all of us are. Uh, not just about me being in the movie but just about the franchise and the movie itself. Um, that it, it really didn't take much and I think they understand what uh, how special India is. Uh, it's not just me asking them, it's also what they wanted to do and knowing how special India is and interacting with all the fans we have over here. Um, so it was pretty simple actually, it didn't take much. Uh, hi, Vin. Hello. Uh, uh, hi, Vin. Over here straight. Hi. Uh, first of all, welcome to India. This is Himesh from Catch News. Uh, straight. Center. Okay. So I have two questions for you. The first question, I have two questions for you. The first yeah. one is, how are you liking India so far? How is India treating you? I cannot see you. <laughs> I oh, cannot you're straight. See you. Oh, yeah. now I see you. Um, how, how is India treating me so far? Um, I have never seen a reception entering a country like I did this morning when I got off the plane. Uh, the music, the culture, um, the fact that people are so happy to celebrate their culture is a beautiful thing. So much so that when I got back to my hotel room and I started looking at the pictures, 
I said, Vin, you're smiling too much. <laughs> I literally felt like, God, Vin, people are going to think you walk around with a smile all the time. It was he, very, it was he, one. He does, he does most of the time. <laughs> It was a wonderful, wonderful reception. Uh, I'm, I, I wrote this in a post that I've always wanted to come to India. So it's truly, and in my line of work, if it's not work-related, somehow you never get to a place. Your time is taken from all of your work, whether you're filming most of the time in different places. If you don't, if it's not work-related, you may never get a chance to go to some place you've always wanted to go to. And the fact that I was able to come to India is something that I'll always cherish. There's so many personal elements or personal reasons why India is important to me that you'll hear throughout my time here. And uh, my second question to you is, are you aware of the fact that your film is the biggest Hollywood opener in India and it was the first Hollywood film to do over 100 crore over a year? No, I wasn't. <laughs> uh, but that's good to know. And I hope that trend carries with this new franchise I'm so proud of. But thank you for that. How do I say thank you again? Sh Shukriya. <laughs> Shukriya. Shokriya. I have a question for DJ um, and for Wynn as well. What was it about Deepika that made her perfect to play Serena? Um, well, there's a, there was a lot about her. What, what I really found striking, I was fortunate enough to see uh, a reading that they had done together years before for the project that they spoke about. So I immediately was uh, attracted to the chemistry that there was between both of these, um, these great actors. But I think what Deepika brought was she brings such a strength, but she also brings sort of a grace and an intelligence. And what we really wanted to do with Serena when Vin and I were talking about how do we do this is create the female version of Xander so when they finally meet each other in a very fun circumstance, they feel like they're looking in the mirror at each other. And I felt like Deepika would be able to capture that not only in her you know, not only with her intelligence and her strength, but I felt like she's very athletic as well. Um, and she's I, the most beautiful girl that I've ever been able, uh, the privilege to direct as well. So to have all those elements in one, one character, it was really obvious for me. And yes, she is a wonderful actress. She is from India, but after day one of she and I working together, it was just about how does she embody Serena? And that's what we really, that's what we really worked hard on. Yes. Um, Hello. At, Hello. Hi. Oh, should I continue? Or are you okay? Go ahead. Sorry. Ivan, uh, okay. out here. Uh, I think he wants to say. Uh, I thought something. it was a part he two for Vin, right? I would just add. I mean, DJ answered that uh, with everything that I would say, um, but I would just also add that uh, when we talked to her in the very beginning. Um, we were honest about the fact that it was gonna be a very demanding role because it's so high action. And her commitment was uh, apparent from the beginning. Uh, she really made us feel like she would go to all lengths to um, personify this daredevil of a character in some ways. As DJ said, we needed the counterpart to Xander, um, and that was going to be very demanding. So it wasn't just the beauty and the grace that we could rely on. It was also her willingness to commit to all the action that's demanded when you have to do an action film like this. They're a lot harder than people think because you can't mess up, otherwise you could, there could be, you know, obviously bad things happen. So you have to be really committed and you have to come in and you have to practice these stunts and you have to be ready to play a character of this magnitude. And we saw that in the beginning and that gave us even more confidence beyond her beauty and beyond her, uh, her thespian 
uh, majesty. That's, I'm going to get you that T-shirt, Thespian Majesty. <laughs> All right, the next question. Uh, hello, I'm right here in the end, last row. Okay, I have to sit down because I can't get up the photographers. Uh, Deepika, this question is for you. Oh, I saw <laughs> that. We were doing the wave. <laughs> Uh, Deepika, this question is for you. Vin Diesel, he's known for his stunts, incredible physique and that uh, brilliant voice. Uh, in the beginning, when you first saw him or met him during the shoot, what was it like? What kind of, how did you break the ice with him and how um, uh, were you intimidated in the beginning to be facing uh, the camera with him? Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't know this, but um, well, the very, very first time we met was for an audition, which was about four or five years ago. So at that point for me, everything was a blur because at that point I was just, I was really just focused on, I want that job. I have to get it. It's huge. Uh, and then of course, when he walked in and everyone started feeling the chemistry and of course we felt the chemistry, all of that went out of the window. Um, and then cut to now for Triple X. Um, I remember overnight I had to fly down to Toronto to see DJ. And we were going to start filming in January. And we were not locked in till almost November, December, I think. And so I suddenly get this call and I flew down to Toronto to see DJ who was scouting for locations. I had I reached in the morning, I had an afternoon lunch meeting with DJ, which you know, I thought would be very awkward and I was like, I've never met this person and what am I going to say because I'm an awkward person. And that lunch went on for like almost two hours. We just sat there talking and we spoke about everything and it just felt so easy and so comfortable. And I was going to take a flight back to India and I suddenly get a call saying, Vince found out you're in Toronto and he wants you to fly to LA and see him right away. And so I get on a plane and I reached LA at night and I went and saw Vin and that's when that epic picture he tweeted <laughs> and Rajiv Masan was the first one who messaged me saying, what? <laughs> Is this really happening? Um, and even I didn't know at that point because I didn't know if I was doing it, not doing it, but he put out this picture which means, yeah, maybe I am doing it. So I, I didn't know what to say. Um, so I think overall, yes, um, so that first meeting I had when I went and, you know, met Vin for the first time in his, in his office and I was speechless because I was just amazed by how much he had to say about the film and about the character and about Serena and about Xander and I was just amazed by how um, consumed he was uh, with this entire project. And I was speechless, I, I, I couldn't speak, I didn't say much. And then cut to when we actually started filming, I think the experience for me was completely the opposite. And I said this in an interview once, and I don't know if he appreciated it, I said he's like a teddy bear. <laughs> he's just so warm and so, he's the kind of person who will always, <clears throat> I know he'll always watch my back, and not just in a professional way, but even personally, I know he's the kind of person I can always call him up and he'll always be there for me. And it's amazing when you do films like this, you also work with such amazing people and you make these amazing friends. Um, I'm extremely comfortable around him and I think that's because of the way he makes me feel. He's given me so much confidence. I think a large part of why I could play Serena so confidently is because I had my co-star and my director who had so much faith in me. I knew that I got, you know, I understood the character well enough and that gave me confidence to go out there and perform really well. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hello. Hi. Uh, Nilima Kulkarni here from IBN Lokmat. Hello, Deepika. Great to see you again. And uh, Vin, welcome to India. Uh, my question is to Vin. Uh, would you like to work with Deepika again? Of course, the answer must be yes. But what is so special to work with Deepika? <laughs> um, what is so special to work with Deepika? And would I like to work with her again? Hmm. 
Yeah, how many days shoot are you talking about? We yeah. Really <laughs> how, how soon? <laughs> Uh, when are they thinking? Do you, actually, when are we working together? Do you, did you get a date? I, I heard that I should start preparing something to be ready for spring, early summer. That's what I heard. <laughs> wow. Wow. I think, I think that tells you a little something. If, if in May... I don't think everyone really got it. Okay. <laughs> if if, okay. If, what DJ's trying to say, <laughs> if in May we are filming for Viacom the next Triple X, it will be very evident <laughs> how much I like working with her. <laughs> well uh, it's entitled <laughs> Serena's Revenge, right? Yeah. <laughs> It is, it is, um, she's, she's very, very special to me. Uh, all you have to do is look at my Facebook for the last year and you can see how special she is to me. Um, there's no one like her and uh, she, I, she, she breaks out of India, quite frankly. You get to claim her because this is her origin but she's a, a queen of the world. So the whole world will get to claim her. Center aisle, do you have a mic with you, oh. sir? Oh, all right, so we'll go on the left, extreme left. The pick up, the pick up. She owes me lunch. <laughs> she owes me lunch. She owes me lunch. Because let's just say in, in his lunch break, our lunch break, Vin was busy trying his lovely Indian outfits, both <laughs> of them. We were like, which one should we wear today? Yeah, yeah we were picking. Yeah. What do you think? <laughs> How does it look? Does it look okay? <laughs> Is it okay? Does it look good? Do I look regal in that beautiful Indian way? Do I look majestic at all? Do you see the, do you see the teddy bear that Deepika talks about? Or do you see the grizzly bear? Sorry, guys. Deepika. Oh, we, we're going to... Deepika. We're going to uh, stick to the microphone. We'll get a microphone to you, sir. Uh, Where Deepika, Priyanka, you're from India Forums. Uh, hold yeah, on. Yeah, 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 this side. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, Deepika, my question to you is... Why are you looking at your phone? <laughs> sorry? I think she's trying to film you. Yeah, yeah, it's live, it's live. Oh, it's live. Right. Okay, yeah. So my question to you is, was it intentional to retain your Indian accent in the film? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Very much um, so. That's one of the first things that when DJ and I started workshopping and we started working on Serena, I asked him many times, I was like, are you sure you want this accent? And they were both very, very sure. I mean, there was no doubt. Uh, and it is a conscious decision. The film is not about, um, it's not about that. There's so much more to the film. And yes, um, it's something that I owned and it's something that I'm very proud of. And I'm happy that my director allowed me to use that in a creative way in the film. And my second question is to Vin and DJ. What do you think about Serena's accent in the film? Well, I'll, I'll just say this. What we were trying to do was to create a global franchise. We were trying to deliberately. We didn't want to stay in the confines of Hollywood. The whole point of the movie was to go into different film markets around the world and invite all of them to work together in a franchise, into a, into a picture. So everybody's accent was celebrated. We wanted the diversity. That's what makes the movie so special, which you'll see. Yeah. And I agree, I, I loved it from the get-go, and I really, having such a diverse global cast and, and having, having so many characters in a movie as a director, the one thing in this movie I lost sleep over was 
how do I make sure that I can get these other characters that are in this movie? I mean, you have Ruby Rose from Australia, you have Rory McCann, you have all Tony Jaa, you have Donnie Yen. So I, I, wanted, I wanted them all to bring some of themselves to their characters and not worry about an accent. And so it wasn't about anything but having them elevate their characters by being as close to who they really are as possible because that's, that's why they were there. Slow down, slow down. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't know if you get this or not. I'm not from around here. Stand up for a second, don't worry about the cameras, and slower so I can really try to understand this. Twentieth of January is the day when Triple X is releasing in America. Yeah! <laughs> so that will be a historic day for fans all across the globe. I hope. It yeah. will also be a historic day because Donald Trump will be taking oath as the forty-fifth president of America. Hollywood as a fraternity is itself divided in its opinion on how good or bad Donald Trump will be for America. Recently we saw Meryl Streep slamming slamming him at the Golden Globe. As a colleague, where do you stand? Are you in support with Meryl Streep or do you have a divergent view about Donald Trump? I'm going to answer that question. On January 20th, something very important is going to happen in America. And that will be the return of Xander. Thank you very much. Thank you very all right. much. Um, all Hello. right, ladies and gentlemen, the press, the last two questions, please. Hello? Uh, hello? Uh, hi. This is Vishali. Here, here. Uh, I'm Vishali from Business of Cinema. Uh, my question is for Vin. Uh, have you seen any of uh, the Picard's Bollywood films? The one she just did that she won an award with is insane. And it makes me want to ask her to be in Hannibal the Conqueror. Let me, let yes! Me, yes, I agree. Done. I agree. Let me, let me tell you, because the cast was having so much fun on the set every single day, and they all came in with their music and were singing, I really thought if I had one or two more days of having everyone together, that we were going to do something at the end. But I promise you we'll sneak in something in the very next That's movie. That's a very fair request. <laughs> yes, right. You are heard. Yes. You have been heard. Yes. This will... C this will also come to pass. We will dance in the sequel. I mean, I All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's win, the win, last win. question. Sir, could you get a mic to yourself, please? Win, over here. Uh, win, who all do you know in Bollywood? I know the most important person in Bollywood. <laughs> and you're looking at her. <laughs> all right, guys, I'm so... All right. One last question, all right. In my whole life, or, or in my whole life? Which actor has inspired me the most? Oh my God. <laughs> Now say that again, <laughs> and be clear. <laughs> Are you asking me which Deepika has inspired me the most? 
Oh, God. I mean, India is so amazing. You know, I'm just, I, you know, I know this isn't even a question. Can I just tell you this silly little story? It doesn't, I don't know if you want to hear it. You want to hear it? So my father, I grew up with my father, who's a theater director. And we grew up in New York City. But my father every day used to meditate. And one day we went up to the country to see a guru that had come from India to bless this whole group uh, of people that were meditating. And I was like a five-year-old kid. And I was just playing around with my brother. And the guru went up to my parents and said, that kid over there, pointed to me, is going to surprise you one day. And my parents, being the proud parents they were, said, oh, no, we're already proud of him. We're, he's, we're good. And the guru said, no, he's going to support your son is going to surprise you one day beyond your wildest imagination. I don't know why I told you that. I, I never told anyone that story. Uh, it's these famous words from the guru. Okay. Thank you, Vin. On that note, I'm going to call back onto stage the group CEO of Viacom 18, Mr. Sudhan Shuvats, to honor the three of you in a typical Indian style. Not that you've already not been honored in many ways by many people, but Sudhan maybe have you back on stage, please. Oh, I love those. Yes, Ajit, could we have you on stage, please, for a photo up? <laughs> 